Right, we lost some videos on part two of this. We did do some, but Craig had a full memory on his phone, so we'll blame Craig. But anyway, the petrol tank needs some TLC. It didn't have a bung in there and no pipes or anything. So we've got a bung off the old streamer. We put the pipes on. And then um, when we've got it going, obviously when we put petrol down the head, it was running off that petrol that's in the head. So we filled the tank up. It's working, it ticks over fine with the choke on. But with the choke off, it just dies. So that's telling me it's getting too much air. And when I'm opening the choke to put it on full throttle, it's sucking too much air in and barking the engine out. So, we're going to have a look into it and we'll get back to you. So, it's sucking too much air. Obviously, it's got it all in the primer. So what I'm going to do, I've got another strummer engine here. I'm going to swap the carbs around and then see if this carb will work on there because if it's got a crack in somewhere or it's sucking too much air through the primer that's broke obviously that's why the problem so I'm going to swap these carbs over a minute see if it runs on this carb if it runs everything's hunky dory right we've swapped the carbs over we've got the tubes on petrol pipes in that's the old carb so it's going to leave that there for now we're going to fill it full of petrol I'm going to start it up and then hopefully she will work. Right, we swapped carbs of it. So now, let's see if it starts. Well, and runs. Please, please, please. Oh, hang on. It turns it to none. Nope. Oh, where the heck is the ball? Choke on first. Choke on. Make the warm up a bit. Right. Start it and turn choke off. Turn her off. It's alive. That's the old carb. <coughs> well, at least if I die in here, I'll die happy. We'll take the old carb off now and we'll wire it back up. Let's see if it goes. Come on. Right. Our next problem. Had it running as you've seen. Got it going perfect. Put it on the converter. Times weren't turning. But now what could be up with it? Now what? So we took it back off, it's not turning the drive shaft, so obviously that, does that start? So obviously that means the clutch is gone, it's a centrifugal clutch, so this is going to be our second update of it, so it's going to have to be number three now, and the next one will be in the installing the clutch, so keep tuned, thanks for watching.